Good evening, everyone. I uh, hope everybody is having a wonderful Monday evening. And this is Donna coming to share with you my September design team project for Ephemore. Uh, the journal kit that I used is Holiday Memories. Um, this is the cover is six and a fourth ish by seven and a half. It has a total of 44 pages. It does have some tea dyed pages in it, but not all of them are tea dyed. Um, the cover, I used cardstock from my mind's eye. I believe the name of it was Knoll. And the actual page size is six and three quarter long by four and three quarter wide. Um, so this one is a little bit smaller journal than the ones I've been making, but I think it turned out really cute. And this is the back. And I used a cracker box, by the way, to make my cover. And then on the spine, I did some seam binding. This is just some little uh, Christmas ribbon that I had. Nothing fancy. And then I did make a small charm. It's got a stocking, a Tim Holtz, pine cone, some bells, a candy cane, and a Christmas tree. And then the large charm at the bottom, I shrunk the tags and did one of the images from that. And that's how I made that one. So, this is the first time I've used this closure on something. I don't remember the name of it. I do know that it is by Tim Holtz. And one thing I found out, to do this type closure for this flap part, you really need to leave that as it is until you're finished embellishing and then cut it to size because once I had got so far in the embellishing, I uh, found out that I had to quit making it fat embellishments because my closure didn't want to close. So it does still close, but let's go inside and take a look. The inside cover, I decoupaged a napkin that went really well with the journal kit and then made this little pocket here and decoupaged some more. And just added some lace, and then you've got this little telegram card, which is part of the kit. Uh, journal card it says "Dear Santa." It's part of the kit, and then a tag that I made, and the story begins. This is a pocket from the kit that I made it look like a present. And just did some stenciling. And then made this little tag. Uh, this image is Tim Holt stamp. And then just added the embellishments and the lace. You could fit more in this little pocket if you wanted to. It's got plenty of journaling spots. I made sure that I did that because I'm real bad about covering my pages up. And I don't leave a whole lot of journal spots. Uh, this is a new stamp I just bought. Tis the season. Happy holidays and a very merry Christmas. I made a wish list. And then this is some of the ephemera from the kit. And I just added some burlap to the bottom and some lace. And... That's part of the kit, little journal spot. I'm doing this at a different angle, so I apologize if I'm moving the book about. This is part of the page. I just fussy cut her out and then made her into a little pocket. And that's one of the pages. 
I cut to make a pocket. I mean, I'm sorry, a tag. This is another one of the pages, and I just cut it out to make it a journal card. A little tuck space. And this is one of my stamps. I just love him. So I thought I had to use him. Oh, and this is untied because this is take two. This is a new uh, die that I've got. So that right there should be tied. Sorry about that. I forgot to retie it. So we will just open that up. And I've actually got that paper clipped in. So that is a journal spot. And then you could also... I can grab this paper. Tuck something in behind. And then these are some little pockets that are from the kit. Um, this is a tag from the kit. Piece of ephemera. Another tag from the kit. And a postcard from the kit. And then this is just some cardstock I tore and inked up. And then this is just some extra journal in places. This is part of the paper, and I just did some cutting on it and made some pockets. Um, this is a little tag from the kit, and it's got a tag and another one of the tags. Those are both from the kit. Oops. And then this is also from the kit. And then this other pocket has that pocket in it. Or that envelope in it, rather. And just a piece of ephemera. So you could actually stick more in there if you wanted. And then this is part of one of the other pages that I just tore the corner off and made a pocket out of it. Um, it holds another one of the pages as a journal spot. Move my hand so that y'all can see it. The shadow. I normally try to film during the day. I didn't get off till 8 o'clock tonight, so. And I just stamped some holly berry and use that as the center of the signature. Glassine bag. I layered um, a piece of muslin with a Tim Holtz stamped image and then this is some more ephemera from the kit that I layered on top of it. Um, the journal card from the kit. Another postcard and another tag. Oh, oh, and you can also tuck something in behind there. And then this little tag or pocket, tuck place, whatever you want to call it, I saw on YouTube the other night. I believe it was, I wonder if their name was jo uh, Zoe, but I could be wrong. You can tuck something in behind it if you wanted to. And you've got a little piece of ephemera for that little pocket. And then this is just a little bag I had. 
and I stuck one of the cards or one of the tags from the kit in it and a journal card or postcard rather from the kit and you can also tuck something behind that. I made this into a pocket. It's part of the kit. And stuck one of the tags and one of the postcards in. And this is also part of the kit. I just thought it was cute. I like snowmen. And I cut this off for one of the pages. Turned it upside down and made a pocket on it. Did some stenciling throughout. I keep getting hung on the lace. This is another envelope from the kit. I don't have anything put in this one though. And then her again. I think she's pretty. And then the last page. On this side I just used a um, piece of uh, watercolor paper. I couldn't think of it. And then did um, journal card and I just did some stenciling on this and did um, some layer some what do you call it I can't think of what it's called my mind's not doing well because I work till eight o'clock so I'm tired uh, but anyway modeling paste there you go so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought or what you think. And thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.